Okay, here's a brief little tutorial looking at Reason samplers. Reason has two sample players, and when I say two, I'm not including the Redrum drum machine, which is actually a sample player uh, attached to a pattern sequencer. But these are traditional samplers or sample players. The difference being a sample player plays back samples, but you can't record new samples into it. Uh, as opposed to a real hardware sampler which allows you to record samples as well as play them back. Okay, having said that, this first lesson we're just going to take a quick look at how you get the sounds into the sampler. An important thing to remember in using samplers is that there's a difference between patches and samples. And let's take a look first at the NN19. It's a slightly simpler I'm I'm recording or play enabling that NN19 since I currently have no sounds loaded and I can touch the keyboard all I want and it doesn't make any sound I'm gonna load a sample a piano note sample into this NN19 okay let's load the pitch A3 okay I loaded that pitch in I'm playing a3 right now. You're hearing the note A. But here's a little secret. The note I'm actually playing on my keyboard is not an A at all. Even though that sample, they recorded someone playing A on the piano, that sample was mapped to the note C3. You notice this little highlighted section on the keyboard? And it's set at C3. I'm going to move that up to A3. Okay? And the way I'm going to move it is by using this root key knob. And I'm going to dial in A3. Now when I play A3, I get that sample. Okay? So now I'm playing the note A and I'm hearing the note A. Okay, it sounds pretty realistic for a sampled piano, but listen to what ha happens as I start playing notes moving higher and higher up the keyboard. Do you notice that within a few notes, it's starting to sound way too bright, kind of like a toy piano? And the same thing happens as I move lower and lower. Here's A3 again. It doesn't sound realistic at all. Sounds like I'm playing a toy piano. And the reason for that is I'm using one sample and transposing it too far up and too far down, which makes it sound kind of metallic and imitation and fake. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that sample. The way I get rid of a sample <clears throat> is right click, or if you have a Macintosh, you can control click anywhere on that NN19 sampler, and it brings up this contextual menu. I'll choose Initialize Patch, and that gets everything out of my keyboard. I'm playing notes, and you're not hearing anything. Okay, let's go over to this section, and we're going to browse patches now. The difference between patches and samples, patches are actually collections of many, many samples mapped out across the keyboard. Let's choose, oh, how about just this kind of generic grand piano patch. I'm going to click this button to select key zone via MIDI. What that's going to do as I play up and down the keyboard, this little highlighted area will move to indicate which sample is playing at any given time as I move up and down the keyboard. Do you, no do you notice that every time I uh, play up or down a couple of notes. After a few notes, it shifts to the next sample. This piano was sampled several times, low notes, and then gradually moving up, skipping a few keys each time. And what that does is it makes our piano sound more consistent from moving from the high notes to the low notes. Not bad.